The question is, how can we motivate young medical doctors or people involved in biomedical science in any area that are in training in school or postgraduate to get interested in developing research within their training program and even hopefully afterwards. And after many, I would say, decades of experience doing research myself and having postgraduate students and having conversations with them and advancing uh, into clinical research, clinical basic research, I think there are a few key messages that are worth uh, sharing. Um, a first key message would be that doing research has tremendous advantages for students, not only for those that want to pursue a research career, but even those that will end up being good doctors. Because if you enter in a research environment and you learn how to develop a research project, which is based on a very good question that has to be generated by you, by the person that's interested in doing research, a question that is simple, clear, not previously answered, that will lead to a hypothesis. Each question must lead to a hypothesis that is based on literature review, is based on the research that others have done that will help answer your question but have not fully answered it yet but will allow you then to think what would be the right answer, which is a hypothesis, and then lead you to a specific aim. That is, clearly define your hypothesis to set a question, a hypothesis, a clear aim to move to research. That way of thinking will help you not only to be a good researcher, but will help you to be a good doctor or a good person that's just seeing patients, a doctor, a nurse, a technician in the medical field. So that's why we say if you think in a research way terms, you will also think using evidence-based medicine. Questions, hypothesis, aims. And that, that is why we want our students to learn the research methodology in their training. Now, if this leads you further on, hopefully, to become a researcher as part of your endeavors during your career, it's important also probably to receive some other tips. A first tip would be do not start by yourself. Start in a group, get support by those who know more, and talk with them and discuss with them your question your hypothesis, your aim, and then the methods that you will use to better, uh, to better um, answer your, your specific question. So start with a group. Dedicate enough time. Research is not a hobby. It's not something you can do during the night or after your working hour. It's something you need to dedicate time if you want to do valuable research. And if you're not going to do valuable research, it's going to answer your question it's probably better not to do it at all. It may be a simple question, not, not require years. It can be answered maybe in a month, but you have to dedicate time. You have to try to obtain some resources, and there are ways to obtain resources, and you can talk with your mentors. And finally, when you get to the results, you want to publish. You do not want to do your research to keep it just in a drawer or keep it locked somewhere. You want to for the results to be shown for others because that's the way our research is helpful. So if you have a good question, you're able to generate a hypothesis and specific aims with the help of mentors that gets you in a, in a research mode of thinking, in a research environment, you will see that you, you will be able to become probably a better physician, a better person in the way you confront in general different issues that are involved with your, with your medical practice. That is why I would urge you to seek with your professors, with your teachers, the possibility of developing a research project. It can be small, medium, or big, but it has to be clear 
It has to have a question, hypothesis, aims, and methods. And you need help of those who know how to do this to advance in your um, research career, or if not research career, in your research endeavors to become a better doctor.